Alright. Good morning, Pointers. Today is Wednesday, December 21st, and it's an A-Day. My name's Lily. And I'm Olivia. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At Sparrows Point Middle School, we have pride when we practice safe behaviors, respect ourselves and others, interact with empathy and inclusivity, demonstrate responsible citizenship, and exercise high academic standards. Now, club in time with the weather. Hello, Sparrows Point. It's time to whip out the Charlie Brown specials, and I put a Santa hat on my microphone. I'm proud of myself. Let's get this going. Today, we're going to have a high of 42 and a low of 26. It's going to be a sunny all day, and that's going to be cloudy at night somehow. Here is this week's lunch menu. Now Liam with the National Day. Oh, today it is National Main Day, National Flashlight Day, National French Fried Shrimp Day, National Anne and Samantha Day, Nas National Win Winter Sol Solstice Day, uh, National Homeless Rem Homeless Person Remembrance Day, National Humbug Day, and National Crossword Puzzle Day. Crafting Club and Green Club will not be meeting until after the winter break. Here's tomorrow's schedule. Willy Wonka auditions today. Final auditions and callbacks Thursday, Dece December 22nd. Casting listed posted. It is almost time for our next celebration of Champions Day for second quarter. The next five weeks you will get a chance to earn a privilege of participating in our celebration of Champions Activity Day on January 17th, 2023. Students will have to earn their way to the activities this quarter through their Pointer Pride. The requirements of attending are no office referrals, no suspensions, no after school detentions, and less than three minor infractions such as lunch detentions, calls home. Student Council is excited to announce this week's Winter Spirit Week at SPMS. Thursday, December 22nd, Math Clash Colors. Sixth grade will wear red, seventh grade will wear black and white, eighth grade will wear blue. FFA Horticulture Club has moved to Wednesday until February. Next meeting is today. Time to get ready for spring. December is Learning a Language Month. Here's Lucas to show you how to sign. Good morning, Pointers. Today, um, I will be teaching you how to sign good luck. So you put your middle finger down, and you touch it to your chin, and you move it out of the way. So this is good. And then luck is spelt. So it's L-U-C-K. Good Luck. Have a great day, Point. The word of the day is degenerate, which means to break down or to deteriorate. The discussion quickly degenerated into an argument. Now Tommy. What, what is he doing? Against, the Dom, against Dom Barton, the Sparrows Point Middle boys team lost 27-43, to 43, and the Sparrows Point girls team lost 36-11. to 11. Now some poetry from our 6th grade students. Oh, let me get up on this chair before it clam pulls it out from under me. <laughs> All right, good morning, pointers. Mrs. Michael here. Um, before I uh, read some of our 6th grade poetry, I would like to remind the sixth graders that number one we need to wear red tomorrow I want to see all the red a sea of red in the bleachers and you know seventh and eighth graders you were once sixth graders too if you want to support us you know you can do that too <laughs> I know eighth graders oh you could be sixth graders in spirit since you didn't get a sixth grade year <laughs> So, sea of red in the sixth grade bleachers. Find all your red from your socks to your hat and wear it tomorrow. Um, number two, I want my sixth graders to not pay any attention to all that smack that Rizzy's talking because you have the heart and you have the brains to win. And I know you can win. Yes, they do. I know it. And thirdly, and then I'll get to my poem. 
I want everyone in the building to remember you are all sixth graders once. So really, even if the seventh or eighth grade wins, sixth grade still wins. So we got you beat. <laughs> All right, so yesterday, some of uh, our sixth grade students became poets, just like Mr. Rizzi, and they wrote a lovely poem called An Ode to Mr. Rizzi, and I would like to read it to you all now. <clears throat> You're an old man, Mr. Rizzi. You're as old as the person who first wrote the Bible. You're even as old as that black hole inside you. Your social security number is probably two, and your birth certificate says, expired. You think you're a smart one, don't you, Mr. Rizzi? You're about as bright as the sun on a cloudy day. My headlights are brighter than your future. You're as boring as watching C-SPAN for 10 days. You toppled like a big old tree when Clementine pulled out your chair. I'm really surprised to see that you still have all your hair. You're a lame duck, Mr. Rizzi. Who would make fun of some sweet little kids? You must have been bullied when you were little like them. You're just like Scott Farkas with his mean little toady, but we all know Ralphie got the last laugh in that Christmas movie. I could say more, but I'll end with this. Your reign is over, Mr. Rizzi. You say sixth grade isn't cool, but really, who's the coolest between me and you? We're coming to get you, the sixth grade and me. This year's math class title is ours. That's why no one signed up. They're scared, and so are you. One last thing, and I don't even think the eighth graders understand this. How are you called Mr. Rizzi when you ain't got no riz? Oh. Mic drop! Oh! oh! Why did Frosty go to the middle of the big lake? Because the snowman's out. Have a great day, point.